These UBC researchers are turning wood waste. Those are the wood residues, slashings from the forest sheet. Into a biodegradable foam in hope it'll one day replace styrofoam, which can take 500 years to decompose in landfills. My dream is there will be no more styrofoam packaging floating and also floating in the, in the landfill, in the ocean. So uh, it will be all, everything will become the biofoam. The potential pollution solution, a partnership with Wet'suwet'en First Nation, developed three years ago when both groups met at a BC Forest Ministry event after the Indigenous community expressed concerns about wood waste created from pine beetles and wildfires. We needed to find a way to use everything we have in the forest rather than, you know, just piling up and burning it. What they've done instead is grind the wood waste into a fiber and using biodegradable chemicals turned it into a foam, which then goes into the oven. Right now there's nothing similar in the North American market. The researchers say they're confident about that process of turning BC forestry waste and eventually even agricultural waste into this biofoam product. So a key question now is whether it's a viable commercial scale alternative to styrofoam. The production cost here in the lab is one fifth of the, mark, uh, the retail price of the styrofoam. He says the biggest cost is sourcing the wood waste from the forest. They're looking for investors to create a pilot project by next year to test out the technology at a larger scale. Probably you can start to see this packaging material in the market maybe after three, three four years. The project's intellectual property is shared by Zhang's team and Wet'suwet'en First Nation. Getting clean water and housing and education and health and wellness and making sure we're, um, you know, putting revenue to those uh, four pillars. A lab-grown plan with big potential to help the planet. Neetu Garcha, Global News, Vancouver.